ladies and gentlemen, I give you one of the New Yorker's 20, uh, 20 authors under 40, Gary Steingart. I haven't heard such good music since my family was chased out of Russia. This is one of my favorite towns in America, and uh, I always say that when my life completely disintegrates in New York, I'll end up buying a cheaply constructed condominium on Capitol Hill, hanging out in Cafe Press all the time. You know, yeah, being like, hey, the eggs are really good here, you know, I am Gary. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but enough about me. Um, so I'll be reading from Super Sad True Love Story, which um, has a beautiful cover. Uh, if you press certain buttons in order, it'll release a certain gas. The, the main characters are the Russian-American Lenny Abramov. Uh, he's the narrator of this section. He's approaching his 40s, which is very, very old in this world. And he works for a company called Post Human Services, which hopes to find the cure for death. Uh, and his younger Korean-American girlfriend is named Eunice Park. The last thing I'll say before I start is that Lenny is considered a real loser in this society because he keeps a lot of books in his house. And books are considered smelly in this world. Beside the armored personnel carrier, a sign read, it is forbidden to acknowledge the existence of this armored personnel carrier, the object. By reading this sign, you have denied existence of the object and implied consent. My father, shirtless, soon took her place. Also gasped at Eunice, ran his hand against his muscular breast, said, whoa, then hugged me. <laughs> he kissed me on both cheeks and I did the same, feeling the instructions, the code of Russian father-son relations. Father means I have to love him, have to listen to him, can't offend him, can't hurt him, can't bring him to tasks for past wrongs. He's an old man now, he's defenseless. <laughs> My mother reappeared in shorts and a wife beater. Sunochik, little son, she shouted. Look who's come to us, Nash Lubimitz, our favorite. Does Lenny keep clean house? Does he vacuum? Once I come to college dormitorium, awk, awful, such smell. <laughs> Dead ficus tree, old cheese on table, socks hanging in the windows. As for me, I have never been to Russia. I have not had the chance to learn to love it and hate it, like my parents. I have my own dying empire to contend with. My father proposed the seasonal toast in English. To the creator who created America, land of free, and who gave us defense secretary Rubinstein, who killed Arab. <laughs> and to love, which is blooming at such time, between, between my son and the Unique, big wink to Eunice, who will be victorious like Sparta over Athens. I could see Eunice's mind absorbing the basics of my father's speech. Arabs, bad. Jews, good. Uh, Chinese central banker, possibly okay. America, always number one in his heart. The toast finally complete, we dove into the food without reservation. All of us from countries historically strangled by starvation, none of us strangers to salt and brine. Who is Lenny by profession? I never can figure out. Lenny does very important work, she told my mother. It's, I think, like medicine. Like, he helps people live forever. My father's fist slammed the dining table. Impossible, he cried. It breaks every law of physics and biology. This is for one. For two, immoral against God. Two, I would not want such thing. Work is work, my mother said. If stupid rich American wants to live forever and Lenny makes money, why do you care? She waved her hand at my father. Stupid, she said. I write in bed, uh, in my uh, uh, bedroom, uh, propped up on the pillows in what's called a husband, which is a device that has these, it really is called a husband. Uh, it's not an actual man, but it's a back pillow with these two arms that you put like this. It's very comfortable. Oh, laptop. I do this kind of monkey thing. My posture is... When do you write? Uh, I wake up at 11, I'm over, I get myself together by 12, 12.30, and then I write. For four hours. For four hours. So 12 to 4. You know, there's a very nice coffee place. Not Seattle nice, but pretty nice. You know, intelligentsia coffee. At night, I, dr I, I have dinner, then I drink, and then I pass out. So the internet is, bothers me a lot. And I have an iPhone, which I, uh, which lies next to me, sometimes on my chest as I type in my laptop. It's disgusting. Technology. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, cheese. Uh, I, I, I have cheese by my bed, and I munch on it. Soviet cheese.